everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel Carefree Caravanning. My name is Michelle and this is my husband Keith and together we want to share with you our caravanning experiences. So we started caravanning uh, about two and a half years ago um, at the beginning of 2016. Yeah. Uh, we got into it through some friends of ours that were heavily into caravanning and um, we'd up to then we'd always done uh, Mediterranean type holidays. We've got three children, um, so we wanted to give them the sun and the sand and the sea. Yeah, and at that time, the kind of all inclusive Mediterranean holiday was perfect when you've got children growing up because you know, they can do there's all these kids' clubs, and if they don't like their dinner, they can always have something else, and there's endless ice creams and soft drinks and what have you. So it was great for them, um, but we found really that it after, was becoming so repetitive, wasn't it? It was. I mean, we we found that the queuing up for buffets, uh, for same dinner times, the night. same food every night, and if they had a pizza, like we're doing well, um, <laughs> or salad, at least you know you could have a salad, which yeah. was a bit disappointing. And, yeah. and also getting up at stupid o'clock in the morning to try and get sunbeds, yeah. um, it was just too much. We just couldn't be bothered yeah. with that anymore. So we, some friends of ours, um, they had a caravan and they invited us over to see them um, one evening when they were on the site. We went over to see them and we had a good look around and just very um, impressed. Very we were impressed. really impressed you know, and yeah. I think um, a few days later we joined the caravan club. We did, yeah, we did, and they <laughs> Much gave them to their amusement. They gave them a shot when we called them and texted them and said, yeah. "Yeah, we've joined the caravan club," and they're like, yeah. "Oh my god, what's yeah. going on? What's going on?" So yeah. we we then like started looking into caravans and thought, well, you know, we've been in the UK all our lives and we we visited so little places in the UK. Yeah. And we thought, well, there's a lot of places to go and there's a lot of places to see. And, you know, yes, people say, yeah, but in the UK, you can never guarantee the weather. So we thought, well, what about places that, uh, you know, we'd like to go and visit? Yeah. Um, and if the weather's not, you know, if the weather's not great, then um, we'll just go and do some visiting. Yeah, yeah. We always try and find somewhere that's, that's things to yeah. go and do and see, don't we? Yeah. Um, when we're, when yeah. we're out and about. Um, so, so we then did a few bit of research into caravanning of layout and designs and manufacturers. Um, we looked at the uh, the Lunar Clubman SI, I think it was, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was. Um, seemed to tick every box. We wanted yeah. an island bed. Um, we wanted an end washroom, and um, basically that seemed to tick all the boxes. And um, we were on the verge of signing yeah, so, papers for... So we went to uh, Oxford Caravans back in 2016, saw one um, and looked at it, said, yep, that's the one for us. So I said to Michelle, let's have a deal with a man. Uh, so <laughs> you, went didn't, to, you didn't get any deals, did you? <laughs> we didn't get a deal. You don't get many deals on new caravans. So we liked what we saw, went in to do the paperwork and... I don't know how it came about. Uh, what was it? I can't remember what else I think, was, but I, I just... He, he was doing the paperwork and Michelle just out the top of her head just turned around and said... Have you got one with this one? I can't remember. She said, have you got any other sort of uh, island beds, uh, yeah. you know, caravans? So he said, well, we've got one that's just come in, which was a Sterling Eccles 580. Um, Sterling being, it's now Swift, but in that day, back in 2016, it was still Sterling. So... So I, le I left Keith <laughs> with, the, yeah. with the guy doing the paperwork. Went and had a look at this caravan and I fell in love with it. Yeah, it was we... beautiful. I loved everything about it. The furnishings, the interior, the layout. It was perfect. So quickly ran back to the office and said, stop. <laughs> We're not getting that one. Yeah, We're getting this one. <laughs> so we went back. I went back and we had a look at it. And the salesman, basically the salesman said, look, it's brand new. It only came in, um, I think it was two days yeah, earlier. Two it days. was still had all the plastic on it. It had no footfall on it, no traffic on it. No one had actually been inside it. Um, it was basically being prepared, waiting to be prepared uh, for viewing. Uh, we looked at it at its not at its best because uh, I said it's had all the covers on it, um, and just it just ticked every single box. It had exactly the same as the yeah. Luna, plus a bit more, and it also yeah. had a very tempor a contemporary feeling, didn't it? Yeah, it, 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 was, it was absolutely it was very, beautiful. So it, we went ahead and, and we got that yeah. one, and we've had some fantastic um, holidays. In our records, as we called her, um, but sadly, it all came to an end Abruptly. towards the end of 2018. 
when Keith went to check on her, as he did every week, just to check on her in the storage yard, and he went in the one day and the caravan was gone. Yep, it was stolen, lock, stock and barrel, totally, utterly just... When I went in, uh, there was just an empty space where our caravan used to be. Um, the site, um, it, it, it was devastated. It had uh, security cameras. Okay. We're going to go into a little bit more detail of the whole process thereafter. Yeah, we'll um, tell you all about that. On we'll do that on another yeah. video coming up after this one. Yeah, but um, needless to say, we were it devastated. Was, I, I, devastated. Unless you've been in that situation, I mean, for all you caravanners out there, yes, you know, we all know that a caravan is a home from home. And although it didn't have, you know, a lot of um, it did. sentimental it value, did. you know, items of sentimental no, value. No, I disagree. It did. It, I mean, there was, there was items in there that the children had bought us, little personal items, um, and, and everything that we'd bought, we'd bought with so much love. Um, I mean, the, I mean, it was, did, there was everything in there, it, you know, from all your crockery and glassware to your, your kettle. I mean, I loved our kettle. It's I ridiculous know, it, to get it, emotional about kettle, but... I'll show you on another video the kettle that I've got, and it's beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> I love mean, little chrome we, retro kettle, it's gorgeous. We, but they, they just took absolutely everything it was, the, it, it, on the, some beds and an awning. Um, yeah, it, it, it was the. It was, our TV, I mean, I, our satellite, everything. I, and, can't, um, I can't remember the drive back from the storage site, which is literally 10, 11 minutes away from where we live. I can't tell you how that drive went because I was in such and it's the most stupidest things go through your mind you know I, I thought well maybe the the site owner would move the caravan uh because they needed to get in it it, it was the first one as you drive in yeah. it was the first one there i thought maybe they moved it because they needed to do i don't know yeah. stupid things go through your mind um and i just remember coming back and uh i was working at the time so I came back and I just said to Michelle... You just had your head in your hands. It's I, like, I don't I, know how to tell you this. I know. It was, it was the, one of the worst, worst feelings and one of the worst days. And you don't get... I, it's been uh, just over two months now since that was stolen. Um, I said we'll go into all the detail of, yeah, of the process start of, to finish. Uh, from start to finish on another video. Um, but it, it, it is... It's two months ago and we haven't... You don't forget. I still haven't forgiven the dirty, thieving, rotten bleeps yeah. who stole it. I hope you suffer a painful death. But on a positive note, to keep this, uh, <laughs> you're not bitter, are you? I'm, oh, I'm not bitter at all. No, she's no. not bitter. She's, <laughs> she's got a nasty bone in her body. Um, anyway, on a more positive note, we have now chosen a new caravan and we are picking her up next week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's we, a swift Vogue. Yeah, we didn't want to get the same again um, because the first one, the first one was so memorable in so many ways, and we didn't want to compare. Um, say, oh, you know, so so we we've gone for something similar, but yeah, um, similar in same layouts. same manufacturer. We've looked at a lot of caravans. Um, once we knew the insurance was rolling. Um, and it, it was all going ahead. Then we went again, we went up to Oxford Caravans um, about a month ago. And... Yeah. Um, a bit longer than that, I think, but yeah. Yeah, we saw Alistair at Oxford Caravans. He was really helpful. Gave um, us total free reign. We, they just sort of, he just said, look, have a look, wander, jump in and out of the caravan you want. We looked at, I think we went into every caravan, didn't we? We looked at every Twice. caravan. And you know, <laughs> if you're in the market for a caravan or you've bought a caravan, you know, with feeling, it's a bit like a buying a house, you know, within you get a feeling. seconds of walking in. Yeah. Nope, nope. And then we, um, we found the, the one that we oh, yeah. thought, oh, that's, that's for us, which was a, a, a dealer's special one, which is a, um, a Swift Vogue. 580 uh, SB, so it's got the same lay similar layout to what we had. Yeah. Um, we've already named her. We have named her. Swift Vogue, a Madonna, so she's called Maddie. Yeah, so we're calling <laughs> oh, Maddie. her Maddie. Um, I know some of you may think it's silly naming a caravan, but to us, she's personal. Yeah, it, it does personalise it, and you know, we've now got a new Maddie file, and uh, we're starting to look into holidays for this year, 2019. 
in fact, on that note, I've just literally booked our first trip yeah. this morning. Yeah. Um, we wanted to go to the NEC show in February. Um, left it a bit last minute, I suppose. So I was looking for sites um, in and around Birmingham, all fully booked. Um, this is early January, well, mid-January now. Yeah. Um, but I did find a beautiful little site in Leamington Spa, um, which looks fabulous, really good reviews. Um, not expensive, um, so I found that today in a book bet, and um, it's about only about half an hour from the NEC. So we've actually got another perfect. one booked as well. We've booked another one in, um, is it March? Is oh, yes, I do beg your pardon, that isn't the first Somerset. one. No, the first one um, we booked to go to um, Somerset, um, so it's very near Cheddar, so we'll be exploring the caves and we'll, um, Cheddar Cheese Factory yeah, and then we'll, you go we'll, to Western Supermare or Burnham and Sea or the Cathedral City of Wells, loads and loads of places to visit because in March the weather may not be great so, sorry? What? <laughs> it wasn't me. Uh, I think no we've gone on long enough. Um, thank you so much for watching this part one. Um, I think we're going to go for a, a nice well-deserved coffee and a comfort break. Coffee? Can't we have a glass of wine? <laughs> it's far too early for a glass of wine. I'm sure it's wine o'clock somewhere in the world. Oh, for God's sake. Please join us again in the second part of this and we'll... Uh, any questions, um, any comments, please let us know and drop them in the box below. Um, please like and please subscribe and we will see you in part two. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Thank see you, you next time. Bye-bye now.